from Stormont. Human trafficking was on the agenda here today, with the DUP's Lord Morrow hosting an event discussing how we could combat it. He's putting forward a private member's bill, and that bill includes a controversial clause which would outlaw the purchase of sex. Well, public consultation on the issue is due to come to an end at the end of this week. Peter Cartwell reports. Awareness of human trafficking is on the rise, but what to do about it is still being debated here at Stormont. This event today heard from an international range of speakers about how human trafficking has been tackled, and there was an update from local contributors too. It's like domestic violence was a number of years ago. Our understanding is getting much greater about it. We're prepared to accept that it is actually a form of violence against women and girls, and there also is a lot of silence around it. A note of caution was sounded today that human trafficking is not just about sex workers, but other forms of labour too. Forced labour is an issue that needs to be properly dealt with in Northern Ireland. It needs to be looked at and the population needs to be aware that, is that it is taking place to keep their eyes open. We have many major factories here in terms of meat producing factories. We have the mushroom farms, we have the fisheries, we have catering industries and this is taking place. We need to be aware that it is and awareness raising is very important, not just for sexual exploitation but also for forced labour. The DUP's Lord Morrow held the event as a private member's bill he is proposing is currently open for consultation. The cut and trust of the bill is to provide support for victims, to put in place uh, support for those who have been uh, victims of this vile crime and to ensure that the law is strengthened in relation to those who use victims. It's likely that some of the provisions of Lord Morrow's private members bill may well become part of the forthcoming criminal justice bill. However, his suggestion that the purchase of sex become a criminal act is not likely to go forward. Peter Cardwell, UTV Live Tonight.